orbiting the red dwarf star Gliese 581, there's Gliese 581d, which might be the first habitable planet beyond Earth. According to National Geographic, it seems to have just the right conditions to suggest simple life exists there. It's just the right distance from its sun. Any closer and water would boil away. Any further, and it would freeze. Ideal conditions for life to have evolved. And if comets have struck, delivering water and organic materials, then life, complex beings like us, even civilizations like our own, could be down there. But this isn't the first time scientists have glanced over Gliese 581 for possible hospitable planets. Two other candidates were found here, though they were ruled out after closer examination. Paul Butler, one of the discoverers, explains why Gliese 581d is the first viable candidate. The significance of this discovery is that it's the first time we found a planet that has the right mass and is the right distance to have liquid water and a substantial atmosphere. People have been getting closer and closer over the last couple of years. They've been finding planets that are on the hot edge of the habitable zone and on the cold edge of the habitable zone. But finally, we have one right in the middle. If Gliese 581d does turn out to be habitable, it would still be a pretty strange place to visit. The denser air and thick clouds would keep the surface in a perpetual murky red twilight, and its large mass means that surface gravity would be around double that on Earth. Truth be told, scientists still need more data to determine conclusively whether Gliese 581d is habitable. Space.com suggests they probably have to detect and characterize its atmosphere directly, which is probably still years off.